Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. I'm good. And how are you? Welcome. Welcome to the last class of this level. No quiero. <laughs> Why not? No quiero que termine. <laughs> Why not? No sé, me ha gustado este, este, este módulo me ha gustado más que el anterior. Ah, oh, really? Siento que, are... que hay un poco más de compañerismo, hay bastante eh, como interacción con usted. Okay. Y, y, y yo siento que quizás usted es una de las pocas personas que tal vez le interesa que en realidad aprenda el otro o la otra persona a la que usted debe Thank you. Thank you for your words. But what about learning? What's your what's your comment about your learning in this during these four weeks? I mean, uh, hubo aprendizaje. How much? Creo que el hecho de que nos hable en inglés ayuda bastante, o sea, porque ya uno va como tratando de darle forma a lo que está diciendo y eso también ayuda a que uno se vaya acostumbrando de cierta manera. Yes, and that's the purpose. Ya no se purpose. siente algo extraño, sino como algo un poco más familiar. Creo que ese es el cambio que he notado yo. Ah, ok, ok. That's really good. Today is Thursday, 26. And we finished October. November is coming. That's my favorite month, November. What's your favorite month? <laughs> Me? No. A mí igual, teacher. Cuando lo vi me dio miedo. <laughs> Porque lo vi muy serio. <laughs> y dije yo, ay, va a ser bien estricto. Pero no, fue bastante buena la clase con usted. Se aprendió mucho porque el hablar inglés, como dice la compañera, eso le ayuda a uno, y como que uno entiende más, o sea, las preguntas y todo. Ok, ok, ok. Um, to be honest, to be honest, siendo honesto, no es la primera vez que me lo dice. Bueno, lo que está en el chat. No, pero um, sí. Oh. Como dos, tres clases nada más fueron. Eh, me acostumbré y dije, no, al final fue como súper cool. <ríe> so, necesito cambiar algo, ¿no? El, el rostro, quizás. Mm, un, quizás un consejo así de mi parte, por si. Quizás. Que vuelvan los colochos. No, creo que sería así, hablando muy profesionalmente. Al inicio del curso, como ir hablando un poquito español y gradualmente. Como quizás la primera semana hable un poquito más español y ya de la segunda con todo el inglés. Porque mm. eso fue lo que me pasó. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> 
I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's English and something, I mean, it's natural. I know that probably the first days you feel uncomfortable, you feel scared, frightened, nervous, but this is the way how everybody learns. I remember the first day in my English class at the university. Justo me pasó, según yo, iba a ir a, me inscribí a la carrera de inglés. Y según yo, no sé por qué pensaba eso, que iba a recibir justo el inglés como lo recibí en el bachillerato, clases de inglés en español. Full English, the first day, full English. From day number one, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, full English. And that's the way we learned. English classes, okay, in English. Obviously, um, la diferencia es el horario, el tiempo reducido y la práctica, porque en esto no, no hay mucha práctica. No es como estar en el salón y generar toda la práctica. So, el, si hay aprendizaje, pero más lento. But it's possible. Ok. ¿Alguien más le caía mal? <ríe> Ajá. Be honest. No, no more. <clears throat> okay. So let me... Somebody, Vilma, I guess. Vilma asked for the following. She wanted to reinforce this topic. And this is, I mean, something really important. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, is Vilma here? Hello, Vilma? No, she's not here yet. <clears throat> y ella me pidió que preparara esto. So... I'm not going to, to start with this because she's not here. I hope she join us. So, because she wanted to reinforce this topic. All right, so let's go back to <clears throat> Ken and Kent. Do you remember that? And we were practicing questions, affirmative statements, negative statements, and you were asking me, right? So what other questions can you, can you ask me? And I'm going to answer. <clears throat> About abilities. I'm trying, where is it? It doesn't appear my, give me a second, I'm trying to present. What's going on? Okay. Because Vilma is not here yet and she wanted to 
to reinforce this topic. So this is what we were practicing. <clears throat> Affirmative and negative uh, statements and questions. And now, or today I have this. This is a short reading. There you have. <laughs> uh, Rolando? Mm, <laughs> yes. Okay. Many people are see, sitting, I was gonna say, sitting in the uh, sitting and the reception room at the ace um employment employment service they are all looking for work and they and they're hoping they can find jobs today natalie natalie uh -huh. natalie verdad natalie Natalie is looking for a uh, a job as no, as, as as secretary. She can type, she can file, and she can use business business software, business software on the computer. William is looking for a job as a Building, building, building. Okay. Super, superintendent. No secret. Superintendent. 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 He can paint walls. He can repair looks, and he can fix a stove and refrigerator. Sandra Stop. is huh? stoves, stoves, uh, stoves, fix stoves and refrigerators. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Sandra, Sandra is looking for a job, for a job as construction worker. She, she can use tool, tool. She can operate equip equipment. Equipment. And equipment. And she cowboy things. Nix is Nix is looking for a job as service person. He can talk to to customers. He can use a cash register, and he can take. Inventory. Stephanie and Tiffany are looking for jobs as actress, actress, actress. They can sing. They can sing. They can dance, and they can act. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next. Kenya. Soy la que no sé si pronunciaría bien. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, many people, many people are sitting in the reception room at the AS employment service. They are looking for work and they are hoping they can fit jobs today. Natalie is looking for a job as a secretary. She can type, she can file, and she can use the same software on the computer. William is looking for a job as a building superintendent. He can paint walls. He can repair slicks and he can fix stoves and refrigerators. Sandra is looking for a job as a construction worker. 
She can use tools, she can operate equipment, and she can do things. Nick is looking for jobs as a salesperson. He can talk to customers, he can use a cash register, and he can take inventory. Stephanie and Tiffany are looking for jobs as actress. They can sing, they can dance, and they can act. Good. That was really good. Thank you, Kenya. Somebody else? Gabriela. Voy a intentar. <laughs> That's the point. Okay. Many people are sitting in the reception room at the ACE Employment Service. They are uh, all looking for work and they are hoping they can find jobs today. Natalie is looking for a job as a secretary. She can type, she can fill, and she can use business software on the computer. William is looking for a job as a building superintendent. He can paint walls, he can repair looks, and he can fix stops and refrigerators. Sandra is looking for a job as a construction worker. She can use tools, she can operate equipment, and she can build things. Nick is looking for a job as a salesperson. He can talk to customers, uh, he can use a cash re register, and he can take inventory. Stephanie and Tiffany are looking for jobs as actresses. They can sing, they can dance, and they can act. That was good. Thank you. Really good. <clears throat> Somebody else? Uh, your teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, many people are sitting in the reception room at the Echo Employment Service. They are, are looking for work and they and they are hoping they can find hawks today. Natalie is looking for a hot is a secretary. She can type, she can find, and she can use using software on the computer. William is looking for a hot as a building superintendent. He can find walls, he can repair looks, and he can fix a stove and refrigerator. Sandra is looking for a hot as a construction worker. She can use tools, tools. She can operate equipment, and she can build things. Nick is looking for a hot as selling person. He can turn to customer. He can use a cash register, and he can. Ya no me parece el otro. No. <clears throat> okay. It's the last, uh, I don't know why. Okay, but that was good. That was good. Thank you. Someone Thank else? You, Another volunteer? Another participant? Okay. Mary and... Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, man. Many people are sitting in the in the reception room at the AIDS employment service. They are looking for work and they 
there's hoping they can find jobs today. Natalie is looking for a job as a secretary. She can take, she can find, and she can use business software on the computer. William is looking for a job as moving superintendent. He can paint well. He can repair look. And he can fix stuff and refrigerator. Sandra is looking for a job as a con construction worker. She can use coal. She can operate equipment and she can build building. Nick is looking for a job as a tallest person. He, he can talk to consumer. He can use a cash public register and he can take inventory. 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 Stephanie and Tiffany are looking for jobs as actress. They can sing, they can dance, and they can act. Thank you very much. Very good. Next. <laughs> No more. It is the red uh, graduation. Sorry. The uh, uh, graduation, el 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 leer, el leer para graduarse hoy. <laughs> oh. The final exam. Si lo leen bien, pasan. You know? ah, okay. We are the champion, le va a decir. Okay. Um, I'm going to read some specific words. Some specific words. Algunas. Porque muchos, prácticamente casi todos, estuvo muy bien. Some specific words. Let's see. Um, o lo voy a ir leyendo y me voy a detener en las palabras específicas. Many people are sitting in the reception room at the ACE Employment Employment Service. They're all looking for work and they're Hoping they can find, find, they can find jobs, jobs today. Natalie is looking for a job as a secretary, secretary. She can type, type. She can file, file, file. And she can use business software on the computer. Computer. William is looking for a job as a building, building superintendent. Superintendent. He can paint walls, walls. He can repair locks, locks, and he can fix stops and refrigerators. <clears throat> Sorry. Sandra is looking for a job as a construction, construction, construction worker. She can use tools, tools. She can operate, operate 
equipment, equipment, and she can build things. Nick is looking for a job as a salesperson. Salesperson. He can talk to customers. He can use a cash register and he can take inventory. Stephanie and Tiffany are looking for jobs as actresses. Actresses. They can sing, they can dance, and they can act. Okay. Now, new words or new vocabulary for you? Something new? <clears throat> Something that you... Employment. Employment. Employment service. Servicio de empleo. Mm -hmm. Building superintendent. Building. Building. La palabra building edificio. Okay. Superintendent. Viene siendo como conserje, el que trabaja en un edificio reparándolo todo. Superintendent. Building superintendent. Sería como conserje. Rolando. Uh, yo tengo una duda en el sentido de. Porque vaya, hay veces que se dice ahí, por ejemplo, A y A. O sea, siempre con él. Vaya, hay una parte donde dice a job. Se dice. Hay veces que se pronuncia a y hay veces que se pronuncia a. ¿O no? La palabra a. Eh, ¿Cómo diferenciar? Ese es problema de, de estados. <ríe> eh, personas. Sí hay reglas, hay reglas cuando se pronuncia a, cuando se pronuncia a, y de hecho no es ni a, ni a, sino es una a muy suave. Pero, pero sí, el, 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 el hecho es que, te, como te digo, depende de los estados, en Estados Unidos, es como acá. Somos El Salvador, pequeño, pero si nos movemos de un lugar a otro, pronunciamos diferente ciertas palabras. Esta letra es, es una de esas. En algunos lugares la pronuncian como E, y no es como el E, como en el alfabeto, no A, B, no E, E, E. O a veces como a, a towel, a towel. Y a veces sí, ¿no? A towel, a desk. Uh -huh. Pero eso no es algo crítico, ¿no? Se comprende. O sea, lo has notado, lo has notado. Algunas veces a y otras veces a. Pero eso es de, depende de dónde estés. Así se pronuncia. Ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. Entonces sería lo mismo con el. El I en medio de algunas letras. El I. Mm, es que hay unas palabras que se pronuncia. La palabra, por ejemplo. Think es normal. Think como oh. siempre. Normal. Pero hay otras palabras que la I se pronuncia diferente como A. Entonces, ajá. Es, sí, eso ya es fonética. Y, en, en este caso, debes irte aprendiendo las palabras, la pronunciación de las palabras, así como las escuches, porque no nos vamos a meter en, en reglas de, de, de fonética, ¿no? Eh, sí, de, si yo digo, I, I think think, y va la I, ¿no? I think. Eh, 
y en la palabra like, que es la misma ahí, pero va como el I, like, I like, I like soccer, I think soccer is good. Eh, entonces simplemente esas pronunciaciones te las vas a ir aprendiendo, o sea, la palabra, vas a ir aprendiendo cómo se pronuncia la palabra, ¿ok? Eh, pero no, no vamos a introducirnos en, en la fonética. Simplemente tenés que ir, así como la escuchas y por eso es importante el escuchar el inglés. ¿Sí? Así como lo escuchas, así lo vas a ir eh, pronunciando. ¿Ok? Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Porque sí, igual también hay reglas de cuando una letra se pronuncia de esta forma y cuando de la otra forma, pero igual eso es más complicado. More questions? Yo tengo una pregunta. Eh, yes. Respecto del diálogo, por ejemplo, cuando dice Natalie is looking for a job as a secretary, ¿qué papel juega el as? ¿Cómo sería la traducción de esa oración? Ok, good. Hay dos, está esa y también está la de Nick, que igual lleva esa palabra as. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Justamente eh, eh, esta palabra es en español sería como Natalie is looking for a job as a secretary. Natalie está buscando un empleo como secretaria o como una secretaria, porque ahí el A igual, en la A se escribe antes de las profesiones, aunque en español a veces no, no lo decimos. Natalie está buscando empleo como secretaria. Entonces, as Secret, es como en español as a secretary eh, y en muchas otras estructuras se usa como el como si yo digo eh, no, en este caso se traduce diferente as a child as a child de niño as a child I was very introvert. De niño yo era muy introvertido. As a child, de niño. Eh, pero luego si yo pregunto, eh, what were you like as a kid? ¿Cómo eras de niño? Y ahí va otra vez, ¿cómo eras? ¿Cómo eras de niño? What were you like as a kid? Eh, puede traducirse entonces eh, como, oh, ¿cómo? O de. En este caso sería como secretaria. Igual en, en, el, en Sandra is looking for a job as a construction worker. Como una eh, trabajadora en construcción. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuál era el otro? Thank you. Ok. Ajá. Nick está buscando trabajo como vendedor. Uh -huh. Good. <coughs> Y en otro ejemplo sería, you look, you look as, you look as a, you look as a nice person. You look as a nice person. Te ves como una buena persona. You look as a nice person. Mm -hmm. What else? More questions? Yes. No, no more. No more, no more. Okay. Um, nuevo vocabulario igual, palabras desconocidas. No. Sorry, I, I have a question. What is boil? Boil things, I know things is cosas herramientas dependent, but boil o en conjunto significa otra cosa. Build. Uh, she can use tools. Ella puede usar herramientas. She can use tools. She can operate equipment. Puede manejar equipo. And she can build, build 
build, la palabra build things. Hacer cosas, construir, el verbo ese es construir. Build things, construir okay. cosas. Hacer cosas. Ok. Mm -hmm. No more. <clears throat> okay, I guess Vilma is here. So I'm going to move to this is for uh, what you ask, Vilma. You are here there, right? Subject pronouns and object pronouns. Mm, come on. Mm, no, esta todavía no. Mm. Sí. Object pronouns, this one. <clears throat> Check this. Uh, Vilma, are you there? Okay, I, I, I hope she's listening because she wanted to know about this. Object pronouns, right? <clears throat> Uh, I told you, I told you that for each subject pronoun, obviously we have an object pronoun. For I, we have me. And you have an example. I don't like watching TV. It's not for me. Eso no es para mí. It's not for me. I don't like watching TV. It's not for me. And then we have the, the subject, right? You, object, you, es el mismo. Where are you? I can't see you. ¿Dónde está usted? Yo no puedo verla. Where are you? I can see you. Subject pronoun, object pronoun. He? And him, Dave, can't swim. Please help him. Por favor, por favor ayúdenle. Ese him sería como le. Help him. Ayúdale. Help him. And then we have subject, she. Object, prana, hair. It's Kate's birthday today. I have a present for hair. I have a present for hair. Yo tengo un regalo para ella. Pero en este caso no vamos a poner for she. Okay. Sino el object pronoun. For hair. I have a present for hair. Para ella. I have a present for you. Para ustedes. I have a present for them, para ellos. Subject, it. Object, it. The cat is under the chair. Can you see it? Can you see it? Puedes verlo. Can you see it? We, the subject. Us, the object. Carol is at school. She can't go with us shopping. Ella no puede ir con nosotros. De compras. You and you. En este caso, el you como plural. Aparece you como singular y you como plural. Five of you have broken a window. What should I do with you? Con todos ustedes, with you. They, them. They are very popular at school. 
I don't like them. I don't like them. A I mí mean, no me agradan ellos, them. Okay, I don't like them. So, those are the objects. And now I'm going to change and I'm going to use this one. In this case, give me a second. There you have. Now you have a sentence and you have two options, subject pronouns and object pronouns. You have to complete the sentence using the correct pronoun. In this sentence, yes. sorry? I respond anyway. <laughs> okay, so this is my friend, Tom. He is from Richard. He, right? <clears throat> y como les dije la, ayer, o la, la vez anterior, el, el subject obviamente va antes del verbo. He is from Britain. Luego los objects o los objetos usualmente van después del verbo. Another one. Ahora vean, I, I met. Tengo el subject. I met. Met sería el verbo. Yo conocí a quien. I met. Him. him, yes, I met him, o sea, yo conocí a él, pero no hablamos así, yo lo conocí, I met him at the beach last summer, next, his mother is a doctor, is work in that hospital. hospital. That's correct. She works in that hospital. I saw, yo vi, I saw. Her. Yo vi a ella. Mm -hmm. I saw her yesterday. My parents like watching films. I often go to the cinema with them. Mm -hmm. Yo a menudo voy al cine con ellos. With them. Good. Bob and I usually play tennis together. We are good at it. We are good at it. Somos buenos para eso. We are good at it. We won the match. So they gave. Ganamos el juego. Así que ellos. Us a trophy. Gave us, mm -hmm, nos dieron un trofeo. They gave us a trophy. Bill and Joe are very tall. They play in the basketball team. Perfect. They play in the basketball team. Next, I'm studying English now because I have I have an exam tomorrow. Very good. I told her the truth, but she didn't believe. Le dije la verdad. Me. Me. Pero ella no me me creyó. Mm -hmm. She didn't believe me. 
believe me. Okay, and that's it. As you some of those object pronouns. Comments? Or questions? ¿Puede decir lo que dijo al principio, el significado de que, um, de que van antes y después de cada cosa? Ok. Um, decía que los subject pronouns. Voy a mostrarles algo. What time is it? Aún tenemos minutos. Le decía, subject, I, no, I'm going to write this, my mother, my mother, el verbo loves, my mother loves, now if you check this, my mother loves, Mm, or she, okay, she, puede ser my mother o puede ser she, okay, y en este caso, ambos serían el sujeto, no, my mother or she, and then we have el verbo, loves, loves, okay, oh, come on. There you have. So, in my mom loves my brother. My mom loves my brother. My mom loves my sister. Okay. Um. My mother loves my brother. She loves my sister. Mi mamá quiere a quien. A mi hermano. Mm -hmm. My mother loves my brother. Okay. Um, pero si yo cambio a mi hermano por el pronombre, ¿cuál sería? Ajá. His. Him. Ok. Him. Ahí está. Es lo mismo en la primera oración, my mother loves my brother. Uh -huh. My mother, el sujeto. My brother, el objeto. El sujeto usualmente va antes del verbo. En este caso, como verbo, tenemos loves. Entonces, el subject antes del verbo. Y luego el objeto después del verbo. ¿Ok? Y, como se dice, ¿no? El pronombre sustituye al nombre. Si yo sustituyo my mother, tiene que ser por she. Si yo sustituyo my brother, tiene que ser 
him. Yes. Um, let's see. My father. My father loves our cat. Mi papá quiere a nuestro gato. Ajá. Si lo sustituyo, ¿cómo quedaría? Usando. Okay. He. He loves it. Para mm. animales es it. El it. I it. Okay. Uh -huh. He loves it. My father loves our cat. He loves it. Pero acuérdense que si fuera plural. El nice. Sería them. Por ejemplo, eh, my, no, yes, my sister, okay, my sister loves our dog and our cat. <clears throat> Mi hermana quiere a nuestro perro y a nuestro gato. Al sustituirlo sería she mm -hmm. she loves them. She loves them. Le ponemos a lot. Los quiere mucho. She loves them a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's it. <coughs> Y lo mismo, eh, a menos, y ahora me acordé de la otra parte, que coloquemos más vocabulario, más palabras, eh, los pronombres pueden moverse, pero siempre van a ir después del verbo. Eh, digo, por ejemplo, my mother loves... Um, En la oración que teníamos anteriormente, decía, vamos a ver, my parents love movies. I usually go to the movies with them okay my parents sería sujeto love el verbo ya tenemos el sujeto ya tenemos el verbo entonces acá aparece el them no necesariamente va a ir justo después del verbo pueden haber más palabras <coughs> so Sorry, my parents love movies, or yeah, movies. I usually go to the movies with them. Aunque acá está el, el, el perdón detrás de este verbo, acá está el otro verbo. I usually go to the movies with them. Yo usualmente voy al cine con ellos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any comment or question? Cine se traduce como movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. I usually go to the movies. A veces aparece así como movie theater. Movie theater. O solamente the movies. Igual puede ser película, puede ser cine, el lugar. <clears throat> okay, what else? <clears throat> Time is almost done. Hey, 
Y es... Siempre que lo último he visto que a veces se escribe cinema o algo así. No sé si, si se pronuncia. Cinema. Cinema. Y es. Eh, ahora ahí la diferencia es que uno es más británico y otro es gringo. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Mm, okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Something else? Algo más? Before I forget. Asistencia. <clears throat> Sorry. Alison, Rachel, Celis, Ortiz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Andrés Pacheco Calderón. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Cristian Alexander Pérez Portilla. No. Hoy no he prestado atención quienes están conectados. Eh, Gabriela Alejandra González Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Jesús Antonio Arteaga Benítez. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Who was there? Carla Elizabeth Hernández Peña. Something happened with them. Present. Ah, hello. Present teacher. Okay. Pastor Álvarez, present. Que thank no you. me está funcionando el micrófono. Ah, okay. Present. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. ¿Cómo se dice copiado en inglés? Copy. Or Roger that. Oh, Roger that. Roger. Roger that. Mm -hmm. Good. Eh, Kenya Briseida Torres Martinez. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Janina Guillón Lopez. Present. Thank you, thank you. Lindsay Indira Lobo Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. María Ana de Jesús González. Present, teacher. Good, thank you. María Stephanie Orellana Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nancy Edith Cruz Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Thank you. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landa Verde. Verónica Magali Martínez Martínez. They disappear. Víctor Manuel Guardado Torres. Personal coach. Thank you. And the last one, Vilma Rubenia Campos Martínez. Present teacher. Una pregunta, teacher. Yes. Estas clases quedan grabadas o no las puede, puede acceder en algún lugar. ¿O no? Sí. Eh, hay una playlist. Ahí están toditas, toditas, toditas. Eh, me parece que ustedes entran a la plataforma y hay una etiqueta que dice videoconferencias, me parece. No recuerdo cómo dice. Pero ustedes eh, en la plataforma buscan en una de las piñetas y ahí le va, la, lo, van a encontrar todas las clases grabadas. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Estoy viendo que Carla sí está. Y no le funciona el micrófono. Carla. Eh... Ok. No, aquí no. Cristian no está. Ok. Uh, estoy viendo los mensajes. Ajá. 
Okay. <ríe> Me sigue causando gracia eso. ¿A quién más? Dígame, antes de irnos, ¿a quién le caía de mano? Good, okay. Uh, comments, questions. No question, teacher. Okay. Uh, well, thank you very much. I hope to see you. You and ticket. <risa> ya me puso ticket me fui con el ticket no, pero que no. de recuerdo le dejo el ticket <risa> pero ya. no no me, no me no, no, a mí no me cae mal <risa> ahí nos vamos a encontrar en otro módulo otro nivel más adelante excelente eh, eh, de igual forma pues el grupo ahí está no hay cualquier cosa pueden escribir um, en algo que necesiten de inglés, ¿verdad? Dinero no, no hay. Money. Okay. Money no, no money, no tickets. Ok. So, uh, good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for participating. Thank you for your attendance. Please keep on working, keep on doing. You can do it. And probably I will see you in another level. In a different, probably in level four, five, or six, or ten. I don't know. Okay. So good night, everyone. Good See night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye everyone. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Thank you, Carla Elizabeth.